Google keyboard, also known as Gboard, has gone through a lot of revisions ever since it was launched and it has gotten better with each and every version. Right now, in my opinion, it might be one of the most versatile Android keyboards that are in existence. And Gboard also provides you with some really nifty features, some of which I personally use every single day, that have improved my productivity to a great extent, I would say. So I thought why not make a video and share it with you guys as well. So in today's video, we are going to be talking about some really nice features that you get with Gboard that you should be using in 2022. So let's not waste any more time and jump right in. Alright people, the very first feature has to be glide typing and the way it works is really interesting. You just need to swipe or glide your fingers over the letters in the sequence of the word and Gboard will spell it out for you. And if it doesn't recognize, chances are that you'll still find the word that you were looking for in the top suggestions panel. Now I know this feature is definitely not something new to be talking about in 2022. In fact, there are a number of keyboards out right now that provide you with the same feature. But it all comes down to accuracy, which I found the most with the Google keyboard. So definitely something to keep in mind. Now, just like you can write stuff by gliding your fingers over the keyboard, did you know that you can also delete stuff very quickly using the backspace button and gliding over to the left? Neat, isn't it? So how do you enable these features on your Google keyboard? Well, first of all, you definitely have to go to Gboard settings, then go to the section called glide typing and make sure you have these three options enabled. And that's about it. Now, speaking of typing stuff on your keyboard, did you know that the space button of our Gboard is capable of doing stuff other than just adding spaces? For example, to quickly add a full stop or period as some of us like to call it, you can double tap on the space button to add it just like that. And what about the times you want to make a correction to a word that you can't position your cursor to with your fingers? Not a problem, you can slowly slide your finger over the space bar towards the left or the right and as you can see this makes the cursor move between the letters and then you can accurately pinpoint and make changes that you desire. To enable these functionalities, go to your Gboard settings and then tap on text correction, then scroll down a bit and select the double space full stop option. Then head back to the main settings, go to glide typing and select this option to the end right here. And now you should be good to go. Now what if you're not in the mood to type words at all? In such a case, you can definitely tap on the mic button right here and ask Gboard to spell out the words for you that you speak real time. This is something that can save you a lot of time since you don't have to use your fingers at all. The only con here I would say is not being able to add punctuations automatically. So definitely you'll have to add those in while you're speaking to Gboard. But I guess it won't be too long before which you'll start having the auto punctuation add feature built into voice typing. So definitely fingers crossed for that. Now voice typing should be enabled on your Gboard by default. But if for some reason you can't use it, make sure to go to settings, then head over to voice typing and make sure that you have the toggle set to the on position. And that's about it. Alright, let's say you're a person like me who has to repeatedly type in things like your email ID or your bank account info in multiple places. Well, you can have shortcuts added to your Google keyboard to manage those things so that all you need to type in are those shortcuts and the rest will be taken care of automatically by Gboard as suggestions in the top bar as you can see right here. For example, I've set two at symbols to automatically suggest me my email ID and I have the word BNK set up to suggest me my bank account details. It's really convenient, isn't it? So how do you go about adding shortcuts to your Google Keyboard? Well, first of all, you need to go to Gboard settings, then head over to dictionary and then select personal dictionary. Select your desired language or select all languages, whichever works for you. Then hit the plus icon at the top right hand corner and type in the content of your shortcut right here, followed by the shortcut text below it. Hit back, back again. And now if you're writing something and you quickly need to enter your email ID, just type in the shortcut that you have created and your email ID will be suggested to you. Last but definitely not the least, I'm pretty sure most of you guys didn't know that Gboard can save a lot of things in its clipboard. Let's say you copied some text from this website, then you took a screenshot and then maybe copied some text from another website. Now in such a case, you might be thinking that you only have access to the last copied item, right? Well, think again. If you tap on these three dots on the top right and select clipboard, you can see that you now have the option to enable something called the enhanced clipboard of your Google keyboard. And now you'll see all the things that you've copied so far and you can paste them just like that onto your desired application. Now, isn't that awesome? All right, so those were some of the cool features of Gboard that I wanted to share with you guys today. And I'm pretty sure that you guys might have learned a thing or two about increasing your productivity while using Gboard. 
I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did definitely hit that like button and please subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on a single upload. So this is me Rohit signing off. I'll see you guys in my next video and thank you so much for watching.